Mona Lisa says, how do you reconnect with your ex if you've blocked him and without looking like you're chasing him? <laughs> how do you, how do you reconnect with your ex if you blocked him? So it depends on what you, why you blocked him, right? Did yeah. he break up with you? Did you break up with him? If you blocked him because, you know, one, I don't think you should ever block a guy, right? Yeah. Like if you're on social media and let's just, like, I'm not sure where you blocked them, right? It could be on the phone. It could be on social media, different things. But if you're on social media, there's different things where you can click on buttons and say, don't follow, right? And so you mm -hmm. won't get that person's post. And so you probably shouldn't block somebody unless you're just like, unless you're in a space where you're like, I can't control myself. I need to get a fix of contacting this mm -hmm. guy, right? And if you're in that situation, then you can block a guy, right? And just, just take some time off and get to a space. There's a thing that I call the wholeness breakpoint. And the wholeness breakpoint is a place where you feel like a strong, whole woman and you're no longer attached to what happens with the guy, right? And once you get to that place, and, and Helena actually just mentioned it here a second ago, where if you're at a place where you, it, it's, you're not going to be devastated when you send him a message, then you're at the mm -hmm. wholeness break point, right? You're at the place where it's, it's mm -hmm. no longer a big deal. You're feeling strong. You're feeling healthy about yourself and you can open things up and send him a message and it's not really a big deal. And it, you know, if, if you blocked him, I, you know, who knows if he knows that you blocked him or not. I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of those things, mm -hmm. right? We'd have to talk a little bit more about what's going on there, but.